Hi, in this video I will show how to create a 360 based lesson using Eon XR Classic version. So for that I'm going to run my web browser. I'm going to use Edge web browser. Going to the www.eonxr.com that for as a reminder gets us to the core version, to the new version of Eon XR. To create a 360 lesson at this moment of time, and let me just log in in here, we need to use a classic, which is a different, different portal. So within the new portal, creating of a 360 lesson will be available soon. This video is recorded on the end of August, so it should be available soon. But what you can do, you can go to the classic.eon-xr.com and within that, logging using the same credential you have to this website, you're going to be able to log exactly into the same institute, but the version is right now 8.45. For that, a classic client needs to be installed. And I'll show you that as well. So let's just log in. Okay, so I'm logged into the Institute here you can see that instead of create I have a create lesson and what I have installed from a classic version in the downloads I installed the classic version of the tool that means when create a lesson choosing an option called a 360 lesson So choosing the second option, 360 lesson. The next step, I have to choose either I want to import or utilize a 360 photos that are already in the library. I will use browse function first. And the next step will be to choose those assets, those 360 photos as an assets that I want to utilize for my, my lesson. I can choose multiple of them, four of them I selected at this moment of time and go to the next step of lesson creation. In this step, I can browse throughout my assets. So I can reorganize them by drag and drop and organize it in a sequence one, two, three, four. I have ability to add more of those assets into the lesson by browsing existing content or importing a new JPG or PNG files. When I have all those assets in line, when I have them prepared, I can give the lesson a name. It will be called example of 360 environments. Choose a category that I would like to give my lesson. That will be just a temporary element. So I'm going to use the miscellaneous as a category and click button build your lesson. That Clicking that button will open classic version of Eon XR client which is a version 8. You will see this the information. This site is trying to open Eon XR. You have to allow that. Do not, and I will repeat, do not click continue yet. But as you can see here on the top corner, as well as here is 8.2.7. So that's the version of Eon XR Classic, which I know is a little confusing and it will be changed soon but that gives me already an ability to browse throughout the 360 
assets that I have chosen to be part of my 360 lesson. And I can browse through them. I have four of them here. I have ability to add annotations, double click, changing the text of annotation, pressing OK, adding the annotation to the list. I can make it bigger screen, adding it to the list, add audio narrations, video links, both in introduction or in the specific annotation. When the annotation is added, in that moment, I can also add a plus and build a quiz, which I can define giving my own question here, approving by OK, changing the possible answers here. And I'm using answer A, B, C. And let's say D. I can choose which answer is the correct one. Press done. And that quiz is designed. Also, I can decide how long the quiz should be popping up on the screen when it's going to be run by the people who are going to play the lesson. So that's added to this picture. I can go to another picture at with the right mouse click here on this version of the classic add another annotation, double click to edit, edit on the top, on the bottom left corner, as you can see it here. So Singapore Lions being added here. Once again, I can add the elements by pressing a plus sign, add the audio annotations, either by uploading my own files or by using a memo builder functionality to create text to speech uh, elements, choosing a voice. If it will be English, I can use English American or English British. Choose the voice, create a memo, preview it when necessary, or just save it and being part of the exercise. When that's ready, I can, of course, create a quiz to any annotation, save the lesson. And if the lesson is saved, then I can press continue, which will, on the website, make sure, and I can close this then, will we'll load everything that's necessary and make it available on the cloud as a 360 lesson create. That lesson, of course, can be then shared, shared in the library, assigned to the person or a group of people, or it could be also shared by presenting the, uh, the link to the lesson within the institution or to anyone and copying it or even creating a QR code that will allow to run this, this lesson to be run on, for instance, mobile devices. Please do not forget about adding your lesson objectives, which makes this uh, easy to browse, find and search. All different elements that I have created within the lesson will be available here. I can add an additional tags and categories. So that's the process of it. 360 lesson creation when we need to use the Eonexo classic version. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.